Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're back. This is Tuesday night, the night that we do uh, not what we hoped for. So it's an album that we do where basically I'm talking about albums that I liked a lot, but for some reason they didn't quite measure up to what I thought they should be. They weren't what I hoped they would be. So this is show comes out Tuesday at 8 o'clock, and that's pretty much the premise of the whole thing. So the album I've chosen today, this will be the fourth episode. By the way, this episode is bi-weekly. We have Decades, which it shares the channel with. It goes out every second week until Decades, the six episodes that we're doing for Decades. When that's out, then Ben and I will discuss a replacement show for that on uh, the Tuesday night. So, yes, we have The Police, Ghost in the Machine. Um, I like all the Police albums, as you know. I have all five of them. I like them all. But for some reason, this one, I kind of got into The Police with, with this one, and it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Now, it might be because... This was kind of not, um, to me, it wasn't radio friendly when I first heard it. it, not as much as some of their other stuff that I'd heard on the radio. This was the first one I owned, actually owned. So they didn't just didn't warm to it right away. It took a bit of time for me to like it. I also found it a little bit darker than some of the other albums, not just in the color of the album either. So this this one has, like most most police albums has 10 or 11 tracks. There's actually 11 on this particular. I just never, I found this a little bit more electronic sounding than some of their other stuff. The other stuff had a little more of a reggae feel, more of a pop feel, more of a um, heavy pop feel if you want, but up beat, upbeat, lots of catchy riffs and everything. But this album, maybe not quite as much as, as the other. Now, it does have spirits in the material world, which was a fairly well-known song at the time. Of course, Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic, another great tune that most people are aware of. Uh, Invisible Sun and Demolition Man are both kind of deep cuts here. And Hungry For You, uh, kind of an unmemorable song. Then you get to the back half of the album with Too Much Information, Rehumanize Yourself, One World, Not Three, Omega Man, Secret Journey and Darkness. All these tracks are pretty much, they're okay tracks. They're not by any stretch bad in any way. It's just that they're not terribly memorable. And I found the back half of this album very disappointing. And the front half, I was not, didn't quite live up to the police stature of the first three albums that I'd been listening to uh, bits and pieces of. And I thought, well, maybe this is a band I don't want to get into. And for a while, because of this album, I didn't really um, get into the buying the Police albums right away. And then eventually I started buying them. And I do like them. All, all the other four I like a lot. I think they've exceeded my expectations. But for some reason, even though I do like this album, it just doesn't hold water for me. It's not what I hoped it would be. I hoped I was hoping it would be another grand salami, and it didn't happen. And it, it it's never really held um, high esteem for me as far as the police discography goes. I don't really like the cover. It looks a little too computerized. You know, the inside is good, but that kind of a red color. Yeah, overall, it's not a bad album again. It's a good album. I, I give it a two, high two. It's, to me, the worst of the five Police albums, but I still give it a high two. But I really expected this to be, like, a number one for me, like a grand slam, and it just has never really materialized into that type of album. And yet it has a lot of the Police elements, the reggae element, uh, great vocals, um some excellent guitar kind of uh, bits and pieces. And the drumming, of course, is good. Um, the songs that uh, are on the, on the radio, Spirit in the Material World, Invincible Sun, and every little, Everything She Does is Magic, are all great songs. But just the, the, 
the deep cuts, which the police are almost invariably known for, are just a little bit on the lacking here. That's, that's pretty much what it is. And I think that's why this album didn't really live up to what I'd hoped it would be because of those elements. But, you know, it's still the police. So even a bad or even a less than spectacular or even an album I like by the police that really isn't a stellar album still is a good police album. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of albums that didn't that really didn't live up to expectation or what I hoped for. Uh, if you did, please hit the like and subscribe. That's much appreciated. And uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Any comments about the album? Am I way off on this? Maybe I am. You know, if you want to cite why you think I'm way off, you can do that. If you think I'm bang on, you can cite that as well. Um, I'm okay with either way. Anyways, I hope to see you again next week when we'll be back to decades and look forward to talking to you and hearing from you then. So take care and have yourself a good day from Prog Monster. Good night.